Now let's go up front and start working on our left and right fuselage hard point toggle left and right our fire control radar and our radar altimeter set it to standby take a couple minutes to warm up so we'll come back to it before we start taxiing now that you're here set your flight path marker from off to FBM and you are done here next we'll go to the front to turn on our HUD which is that knob right there I'm gonna click it until you can see your HUD and there it is our INS is not aligned yet and now you can see most of the instruments are on and running now that we're here we go back to our instruments and make sure that all the flags are gone AOA VDI HSI and ADI are completely clear there's no flags now let's check our MFDs as the left one there's some standby so let's get it activated there it is and we'll go to our right MFD and let's test it a little in real life you're supposed to test all these buttons but not real life right now okay we're almost done just gonna go back here now we go to the left and turn on our threat warning system by clicking on power and we're going to have our jammer and our RWR our shaft flare set your mode wherever you want to I like it in manual and I like a lot of flares and shaft when I'm in trouble so I'll do four now that we're here, you can check up your map on your briefing book. It is your map, your waypoints. You can see here where you're going, when you need to be there. This is just a takeoff mission, so there's no need to uh, know what time you need to get there, but it's very important that you get to your steer point on time. And of course, your briefing tells you what kind of mission you are on and all that good stuff now we keep going to the left and we're going to our communications or audio panel and I'm setting up uh, other communications to a little bit of uh, volume I want my own communications to be pretty loud, my MSL all the way up, and my threat all the way up. Now that you're here, you can arm your seat, get your seat armed. And one last thing we need to check is your trim. You go all the way to the left, make sure that your trim is reset. It looks like this and after that I'm gonna go back to the front and see how our INS is doing and it's blinking so it means it's ready to be active so we go to our right console
and enable it by clicking it once to nav. Now you can go to the front and see that your navigation system is aligned and your HUD is completely active. You can manually set your steer point by clicking on your steer point selector, which is steer point 2 and just set up the standard. Now we're going to steer point 3 and one more time down to steer point 2. There should be 2 there. Now our navigation system will take us to our steer point 2. Right there. That's it folks. Now if you're going to test what you just did, you turn on your master switch and go here and go back to your mount function, it says, let's read it, no faults, all systems okay. You go back here and all the way to the left have our warning. It should give you all the warnings on board, visual, and audible. Pull up, altitude, warning, jammer, counter, chat, flare, low, out, lock, caution, bingo, data, IFF. Pull up, altitude, warning, jammer, counter, chat, flare, low, out, lock, caution, bingo, data, IFF. Pull up, altitude, warning, jammer. Counter, chat, flare, low. And that's it. All the tests are done. Go back to the front. Disengage your parking brake. Turn the lights on. Go back to your rated altimeter and set it on. Go back to front, and you are ready to taxi. Here you are, and this is the end of this tutorial. The next tutorial will be taxiing, takeoff, and navigation. I hope you enjoyed. Fly safe.